Hey everybody, welcome back to Just Be Kind. I'm your host, Matthew Plotner. Today I want to talk about something that has been brought to my attention a few times, and I have been researching this and looking it up. It's the idea of of anger and bipolar, and is there a connection between anger and bipolar disorder? Is is there is there a link somewhere between how we process things in our mind and and bipolar disorder and and anger. I don't know. I do know that personally, I dealt with that issue for, oh Lord, I still deal with my anger, but I I dealt with it hardcore trying to fix it and solve it and make it better for 12, 13, 15 years, for a while, 10 years or more at least. And what I've realized later in life, as I was talking to psychologists and therapists and trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with my brain, uh, I learned that bipolar disorder can, in case, in, can on occasion bring about severe anger and what's called bipolar anger or bipolar rage. Now, a little bit of a, a caveat here before we go too much further. I am not a therapist. I am not a psychologist. I cannot and do not want to diagnose anybody who gets angry as being bipolar. I don't know. You may be. You may not be. I think right now the, the there's value in knowing that there there's something deeper going on. If you have some of these other things that I'm going to talk about as we get further into the episode. So it's not just about, do you get angry sometimes, right? We all get angry. Angry is an emotion that everybody feels it's natural. It's normal. We're not decrying or, or bashing anger. We are, however, talking about the way we function or use our anger. And that could be from what I'm researching could be what is the telltale sign, if you will, is if that anger could be linked to bipolar disorder or not. And what I mean by that is there's there's certain things that happen when, for me and in, in my research that I've noticed, are, are kind of similarities that happen. And one of them is this anger seems to just come out of nowhere. Like you'll be fine. And then all of a sudden you're angry. And I know I, at times, didn't even know where it came from. Like it would just, I would be okay. I'd be okay. And then all of a sudden I'd come home and something would be askew and I would just lose it. And it's, it wasn't the fact that you would get angry. It was the fact that it was an over exaggerated response to something minute and, and minimal, right? It would be something as minimal as the kids left a toy out or there were something was dirty in the sink or right. Just, just something stupid that was irrelevant. But at that moment, it was triggering a severe, angry response, unwarranted for the situation. So that's, that's kind of our key. Number one, right? Does your anger outweigh the situation? In other words, are you responding in anger way over the top for what's required in that moment? That's number one, right? You'll you'll kind of blow up for no reason. Now, the second sign to look out for is that anger will last longer than seems reasonable, right? You'll anger will last for hours instead of minutes. Most people, when they get angry, they get angry for the situation, then it passes and they move on. Those of us dealing with bipolar anger, if you have it, will get angry for hours hours and we won't want to be angry. I remember I would get angry for days, days. I would be in this same angry state and it wasn't because I wanted to be. I was, I was over being angry. I didn't physically, my, my body kept being, you're angry, you're angry. And mentally, my, my mind kept replaying those situations, those things that were going on. But I didn't want to be angry anymore, but I had to, because that's what, that's what was that's what my body kept telling me is be angry. So I almost had to continue this anger despite so badly not wanting to. And that's kind of number two is, does your anger last for a while? Are we, now we're talking hours or days, not just like minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. That's right. That's, that's normal anger. I'm talking two, three, four, six, eight, twelve. 12 
three days, right? If, if your anger is lasting and you don't feel like you're in control of it, that's, that's the thing. If you feel like it's controlling you or your anger is leading you, then that's a big, big problem that we have to address. And that's, that's kind of almost two and three in, in one, right? If it's lasting for a while and it feels like you aren't controlling it, you are probably dealing with bipolar anger. Maybe. I don't know. I would look into it. Lastly, and the one that I would kind of, my wife and I would argue about this one a lot, is once I was find, kind of out of that manic anger, and this can come in either manic or depressive states for people with bipolar, depending on, on how they use their anger. Uh, and that's another episode that I want to talk about that. But the idea is when you're in that manic or depressive state, you almost don't recognize and don't realize the way you are because your, your, your brain is in defense mode. Your brain is in protect you mode. Your brain is in, you're being attacked. You have to defend, 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 protect, protect, protect. And it's, it's feels life or death even though it's not, right? We all know very few of us face life or death situations when we're angry. But for some reason, your brain is is registering this anger in this moment as life or death. And so you'll, you'll almost, once you come out of that manic moment, that manic phase, it'll almost be like you forgot that you were angry. And you'll you'll go back to acting like normal and everybody around you is like, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? You just like screamed at us for three days over a dish in the sink. And you're like, what are you, uh, what are you talking about? That wasn't me. I wasn't, but it was, dude, you have to be able to, to step back and, and see how oh, Lord, it's hard to see that, that moment of anger as, as you, that is you. That's not separate from you. That's not a, a, moment of, oh, well, I was just not me, right? We can't use illness or bipolar or disconnection. I'm terrible about that as an excuse to, to behave how we want. It's not the excuse. So I think the takeaway from today is I'm not trying to give you an excuse to be angry. I'm not trying to say, well, you are bipolar. So obviously you're going to be angry. No, it's not the key. That's not the goal. That's not the idea. The idea is to recognize our anger. See if it's something greater than just normal everyday, if you will, anger and get help, get help. That's what the show is about. Be kind to yourself by going and finding somebody smarter than you. They're out there. Believe in me. I know. Find somebody smarter than you and get help and see if it is something that can be fixed in your brain in your mind in your emotions in yourself because why wouldn't you want to be the best version you can be for yourself and your family and your friends and everybody else and, and the world at large the world at large deserves you to be your best thank you so much for listening remember just be kind to yourself and others 